Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a very nice exponential equation from Romania. We have 9 to the power x plus 6 times 16 to the power x equals 5 times 12 to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x values. So I'll be presenting different approaches and let's start with the first one. First, I'm going to go ahead and write 9 to the power x as 3 to the second to the power x, which is 3 to the power 2x, which can be written as 3 to the power x squared. We have the special rule that we can switch the exponents, and this gives us 3 to the power x squared. I'm going to do the same thing for 16 to the power x, write it as 2 to the fourth to the x, and then that can be written as 2 to the 4x, and that is 2 to the x to the fourth power. And now, at this point, we want to use substitution, but we have one more term, which is 12 to the power x, and that is actually 4 times 3, which is 2 squared times 3, raise it to the power x, then you're going to have 2 to the second to the x, and 3 to the x. And 2 to the second, you know, 2 to the second to the x is just going to be 2 to the 2x, and 2 to the 2x can be written as 2 to the x squared times 3 to the power x. So I can kind of write it here. And then we're going to go ahead and use substitution. What are we going to substitute? Let's go ahead and call 3 to the power x a and 2 to the power x b. So we can express each one of these in terms of a and b. 9 to the x is just going to be a squared. 16 to the x is just going to be b to the fourth power and then 12 to the power x is just going to be a times b squared or b squared times a. Okay, now let's go ahead and plug these into our original equation, which is this one, and that gives us the following. a to the second power plus 6b to the fourth power equals 5b squared a. Hmm, 1 6 and 5. Does that ring a bell? Maybe 1 plus 5 equals 6, maybe something else. Let's go ahead and try different ways to factor this. First of all, I want to write this as a squared minus 5b squared a plus 6b to the fourth equals 0. This must be factorable, right, if there are solutions. So I can try to break down the negative 5 into negative 6b squared a and positive 1b squared a. Guess what? This is not going to help. You can kind of pair up like this, but you're not going to find a common factor, as far as I know. Or we could try something like this. Leave the 5 alone and break down the 6b to the 4th into 5b to the 4th and 1b to the 4th. Again, this will not be helpful either. So none of these works. We have to do something else. And this is what it is. Let's see. a squared minus 5b squared a plus 6b to the fourth. Now here's the trick. And you'll probably get it with another approach. It's going to be a lot easier. I'll show you in a little bit. That we're going to go ahead and break down the negative 5 into negative 2 and negative 3. And that'll actually do the trick. If you kind of split them up like this, we can get a times a minus 2b squared, 2b or not 2b, minus 3b squared, a minus 2b squared again. Great. So this gives us a common factor. Nice. We can go ahead and pull it out. Write it as a minus 2b squared, multiply by a minus 3b squared. And of course, set it equal to 0, right? From here, what are we getting? We're getting two solutions. A is 2b squared or A is 3b squared. And this implies the following. A is 3 to the x, remember, and B is 2 to the x, so that's going to be 4 to the power x. And from here, we can basically divide by 4 to the x and write it as follows. I'll show you how to proceed. Let's do the second one. From here, we're going to get 3 to the x equals 3 times 4 to the x. And then same thing applies, 3 to the x over 4 to the x is just going to be a 3. So there are two possible values for that. Let's go ahead and take this one first. The, the second one is actually similar. 3 to the x over 4 to the x equals 2 implies 
3 over 4 to the power x, right? So we can kind of use a common exponent, and then guess what? Natural log both sides. Only any base will do, but I want to use natural log, ln both sides, and then from here, you're going to get the x to the front, bring it down, x times ln 3 fourths is ln 2, and x finally is ln 2 divided by ln 3 fourths. Now, ln of a quotient, right? You should definitely know that rule. There's a product rule and there's a quotient rule. And in this case, we can write this as ln 2 over ln 3 minus ln 4. No big deal, but it's just another way of writing the solution. And similarly for the other one, you can do pretty much the same thing except ln2 will be replaced with ln3, right? Cool, cool. So these are the solutions. They are the real solutions, but are there any complex solutions? Maybe. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second approach first, and then we will we will check some complex solutions, okay? So you could have somewhat avoided um, the issue here if you did your substitution a little different. So let me go ahead and write down the original problem one more time. 9 to the x plus 6 times 16 to the x equals 5, time, 5 times 12 to the power x. And now I'm going to use different uh, variables here. Not different variables, but different method. Uh, 3 to the x is a, but I want to call 4 to the x b because I only have 4 powers of 4, not powers of 2 that are not powers of 4. Anyways, you get the idea, hopefully. Now, when I do this, I'm getting a squared plus 6b squared equals 5ab, which is obviously much, much better. You could also get away with the, the second method. Uh, with the first method, you can kind of do this. Uh, set b to the second power equal to something, and you'll get the same equation. So same idea. But this time, things are much nicer. Let's go ahead and put everything together. And then we're going to a little bit of focus, focus, mathematic. Okay, ready? Divide both sides by b squared. And of course, you're going to divide every single term. This is going to give you a squared over b squared. Uh, b and b squared is going to cancel out. 5 times a over b plus 6 because b squared cancels out completely. And then this equals 0. Here is a good way to handle this, call this another variable. How about k? k being like a kind of uh, ratio. We get k squared minus 5k plus 6 equals 0. And guess what? This is actually quadratic. And it's factorable. k minus 2, k minus 3. Do those numbers look familiar to you? And from here we get k equals 2 or k equals 3. But k is a over b. So a over b is 2 or a over b is 3. But what is a over b? a is 3 to the x, b is 4 to the x. So this is 3 to the x over 4 to the x, which is equal to 2. From here, 3 over 4 to the x equals 2, or 3 over 4 to the x equals 3. And we get the same solutions, right? This is just one of them, as you know. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some complex solutions real quick, and then we'll see what we can do. Since we didn't handle the 3, let's go ahead and go off of that. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and multiply both sides by 1. Actually, not both sides, just the right-hand side. By e to the power 2 pi n i. That will be equivalent to 1 in the complex world. Therefore, you can do it, right? And now we can go ahead and log both sides. That's going to give us x ln 3 fourths equals ln 3 plus 2 pi n i. And then you can go ahead and divide everything by ln 3 fourths like before, but this time we do have a different piece that is attached and that's actually the imaginary part, right? So we do have an imaginary part, but guess what? If n is equal to zero, then you get a real solution. Make sense? And the same thing goes for two. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. And bye-bye.